Are you ready? Are you ready? Armed with my own entertainment knowledge and journalism training, I made my way to one of the poshest settings in town to interview one of the most glamorous entertainment reporters in the city. Erin Ireland studied broadcasting abroad on a sports scholarship. Being in the right place at the right time helped her land a job as TV host for KVOS TVs for fashion, music and art. So how long have you been hosting for FMA? For about a year. I met my producer Andy Chu last January, totally randomly at an event. It was at Tunnel Lounge, it was a beauty night, and I even told that I could come show up and try to host this event or do a little interview with the artist Bren Ray Fraser, and it went so well, and we really hit it off and things just took off from there. So did you have an idea though when you were in school that you wanted to host or was did you want to be a reporter? I always had long-term goals to be a news anchor, uh, but sports was the major focus of my life up until the end of university. And I actually wanted to return to Canada and report or host for TSN. Um, but my, my goals kind of flipped when I got back and I got more into the entertainment news. And some of the people you've interviewed must have been a little bit intimidating. I'd say the most nerve-wracking interviews are with other hosts. They know if you're struggling to think of a question or maybe they can tell by the type of question that it was your backup question. I interviewed Jeannie Becker from Fashion Television and it was a great interview but I definitely was wondering if she would notice if I kind of faltered. But it was a really fun interview and, and she was so easy to talk to. So let's talk about um, since you do a fashion music arts based show, you also have to look really good. Is there anyone that provides you with wardrobe or shoes or anything that you wear on camera? Oh, well, yes, fortunately I do have help and it's really stress relieving to get things like hair done and then heading straight to the, the studio shoot. And I, I would hate to do my hair for the shoot, I mean, and have the pressure to make it look great every week. I do my own makeup. My favorite item is my YSL lipstick um, and they're my sponsors. But I, I haven't found a makeup artist um, that I use on a regular basis, I think. I kind of have little tricks that I do that I feel most comfortable with. Um, as for clothes, I work with my stylist, Alicia. She pulls clothes and then I go and we kind of decide on an outfit. So great for red carpet events, fancy stuff like that. What do you think is the most important tip that you could give me for someone who wants to try and get the kind of job that you have? Be friends with everyone and you know, don't burn any bridges either. I mean, yeah, just meet as many people as you can. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Um, good luck with everything. Thank and you. I'm looking forward to more FMA episodes. Thank you. Well, good luck to you in your career. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, flowers, flowers. Ambition and success without the diva attitude, a wardrobe to die for, and friends in all the right places. Not a bad role model. Glamorous, 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 glamorous.